Okay, so what we're going to do in this video is do an animated object using your mouse cursor uh, in DaVinci Resolve 19, which I'm just loading up at the moment. Now, if you are quite versed with DaVinci Resolve, you can skip the certain sections you don't have to watch from the beginning. So I'm just going to start a new project uh, and I'm going to make sure that my project settings are on uh, Ultra HD and save that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, in, is import a PNG background and best if I just show you. So, whoops, uh, if I go to my templates, this is my subscribe button. It's in HD and it's going to be added to an Ultra HD video, but let's not worry about that too much. So I'm just going to drag it from File Explorer straight into DaVinci Resolve Media Pool. And I'm also going to get a hand cursor because this will be the thing that we're going to animate inside DaVinci Resolve. Now I've already gone ahead and created some video footage, uh, which will be the ultimate background uh, to the animation. And this is my subscribe video. So if I import this also into my media pool, uh, this is me uh, talking about subscribing. You can subscribe if you want to. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is go to my edits tab and before I do anything else this is 4k video footage so what I'm going to do is create a proxy version of this uh, so I'm going to right click and generate proxy media and that will generate a lower resolution video that is easier for my laptop to handle just for editing purposes. Now at the moment you'll notice that it's still got the high quality version uh, represented by this little symbol here. That's because I just need to go here on the view, viewing window and select prefer proxies. Now if you've got a super duper fast computer you can just keep it on high quality uh, but to save any headaches I just prefer to edit it using proxy media. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this into my timeline. And this is me after a hard day in the garden, just asking people if they want to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Now we are going to edit some graphics and a little cursor, uh, which is a classic in most YouTube videos asking people to subscribe. So what we're going to do is with our effects visible, if you can't see them, just go up here to effects. We are going to go to fusion composition. We're going to get a fusion composition and drag it into the edit timeline. It becomes video two. And we're just going to make it the same length as the subscribe to my channel video. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, now with our fusion composition uh, highlighted, we're going to go to our fusion tab. And the first thing we're going to do is get our background and pop it on into our nodes. We're going to link our background here to our media out. And you can see this is our kind of canvas with the subscribe logo at the top. Now, what we need to do also is grab our hand cursor and just pop it somewhere around about there and link the output of this node to the output of your first node you'll subscribe and you'll see that the two and now appear on the uh, screen now the hand cursor is a little bit too big so i'm just going to go to the size and just dial it down just so it's visible but not too small that you can't see it now we're going to animate this using the mouse cursor so the first thing you want to do is take your uh, loop playback off because once you get to the end of the timeline, you don't want it to repeat, you just want it to stop. So I'm gonna make sure I'm at zero here uh, on the timeline, and then I'm gonna move the cursor somewhere just out of the way for now, and then we're gonna animate this going over and kind of clicking on the subscribe video. So what we want to do is with our merge selected, you can't do it with any other of these highlighted. So select your merge and then ultimately we are going to on the X and Y position, right hand click on the mouse, go to modify with and then X, Y path. Now we're kind of ready to start animating this. So we're going to grab the cursor, move it around like it's naturally being moved by a person and click on the subscribe. So what we want to do is make sure we've got 
the draw append selected and this is where I had a little bit of difficulty working out this so make sure at the top uh, you've got the draw append sorry draw append selected and then what you need to do is it's quite difficult to you can zoom in if you want somehow is it control and wheel yeah okay control and wheel or we can just uh, put this into single whoops single viewer mode there let's get rid of our media pool and then we can just zoom in and make it a bit bigger make sure when you float over this your x and y arrows go white it's a white it's a little bit tricky uh, but we should have it there okay so once you've got that we're going to press the space bar and then as the timeline uh, progresses i'm just going to draw an animated path so here we go press space bar oops hold on i've lost the pen let's go back if you know of a better way of doing this please let me know in the comments or if you find a better way of doing this because this can be a little bit tricky i'm just going to go there make sure that they're both selected press the space bar click and then draw there we go and then just move that out the way and i think that should do it so i'm just going to press stop and now we've drawn a path with the mouse cursor if we go back to the beginning and gen then just play you can see that looks quite natural just pointing out the subscribe uh, on the screen so if i stop that now and then go back to edit we should have this because each file each image in the fusion composition was saved as a png with transparent backgrounds when we play this overlaid over my video footage this is what we should get so this wasn't a really clever ploy to get you to hit the subscribe button but if you want to you can but ultimately if you can give me a thumbs up that would be great thank you for watching okay, that's not too bad so that's the basic way of showing you how to animate something using your mouse cursor so this wasn't a really clever ploy to get you to hit the subscribe button but if you want to you can but ultimately if you can give me a thumbs up that would be great thank you for watching